Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And, and this, this is the Insider, Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey there, Cat. How you doing? Bruce, uh, it was an interesting weekend. I was of, wondering. Uh, I was going, wait a minute. Transporting so, broken-armed Jason to Tombstone. That's what it was. That, <laughs> yeah. So they did decide yeah. to bring it back on this uh, week. Yes. Uh, yeah. They, they just pushed everything back a week. So instead of ending okay. next weekend, it'll end the weekend after this one. And they're, okay. Yeah, Still doing all the performances and stuff, and okay. they had a, a great first weekend. It's uh, funny, like you, those houses will sure get packed when uh, when the people who bought tickets the first weekend push their tickets to the next weekend. Oh, oh yeah, it feels a real yeah, nice. yeah. So they had some oh, great yeah. crowds, which yeah. is, you know, silver yeah. lining to that. They got to open some really great crowds for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a fun time. If you like cowboys, if you like, uh, well, you know, like tombstone, like, that's awesome. You know, oh, supremely masculine like stoic standoffs and gunfights <laughs> and stuff. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe tombstones the play for you, man. <laughs> that's good stuff, right? Yeah, there. yeah. You know, I. Didn't have the copy on it and everything, so I hope you got some copy on that that we can I, tell during yeah, the show here. Yeah, I'll share that later on. Because Jason uh, was back in act. I saw the Facebook page, so yeah. very cool. Mm-hmm. So that was great then. Good deal. Oh, I love stuff like that. Yep. I love the Tombstone's a favorite anyways. Mm-hmm. Of Jeez, yeah, yeah. I'm a cowboy movie kind of guy. There you go. Yeah, there but go. that was a classic mm-hmm. movie. Yeah, Jason, I saw the picture of him, you know, and all in, the, uh, in his mm-hmm. outfit and everything. Looking good, man. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, they had broken arms back then, too, That's for true. crying out loud. <laughs> Actually, you know what? The kind of bandages we chose, it all blended pretty yeah. pretty well together, all things yeah. considered. So, yeah. So, anything else this weekend, or you were just shuttling this I weekend? Was, uh, I was shuttling. Yeah, was <laughs> I was primarily Saturday. shuttling. I did get time to get, like, another 5K, and I've been, like, kind of oh, slacking sweet. a little bit, so I'm trying to get back up to speed on that, but... <laughs> So I got some running in, uh, so we got some me time. Right on. Oh, I got something in the next, uh, there's a 5K or something, yeah, going on here in, in Crescent City that I've got for uh, next issue. It's in my paper mm-hmm. as well that I'll I'll bring it to you and show you when it prints next okay, week. Cool. Yeah. Yes, yes. You will. Please do. Yeah, and me and Junior, yeah, we uh, we hung out. It was, uh, yeah, we had, we hung out this weekend, really. We went to a birthday party. There. That was the big highlight of the weekend, you know, one of his classmates' birthday. So we go to that. Last weekend there was one, so it's been... It's kind of like that birthday kind of time coming up. And his is coming up in May. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's about it right there. We just did that and caught up. I was doing the paper, doing the paper and being really, yeah, I'm feeling really good about yeah. it. You know? So, yeah, I got most of it all done and everything. And Michelle, she's going to edit it for me and help me with some ads and everything. But that's about it. That's all I did as it this weekend. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope you all got out there and did something. Yeah. Before we get going, because we got one of our favorite guests here, we'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Just the jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you'll be on your merry way. And yes, Mr. Dave King. I'm going to be mad in the boat one of these days. But one yeah, of right these days, yeah. It started raining. <laughs> yeah, and the ocean's not cooperating. No, it is yet. not. No. But How is everything going on? Uh, good, good. Uh, we can talk salmon. Uh, they just had a PFMC meeting, Pacific Fisheries Management Council meeting, the March one. And they did develop three alternatives. This is how they would do this every year. Okay. Uh, it's an annual event. They develop three alternatives. They go out to the public for a review, and we can come comment on them. On them, and then in the April PFMC meeting coming up, April fourth through the tenth, they will pick one. They'll decide on one alternative to push forward for approval. But on the positive side, it looks like we will have some form of Chinook King fishing this uh, year out out in the uh, ocean, which is great. We didn't have one last year. We were completely closed, so that's right. This year looks like we're going to have one. In fact, the, okay. they're they're pretty generous alternatives. Alternative number one, which is Humbug Mountain to the California Oregon border. That's us. That's our zone. We're in what is the uh, KMZ zone, Klamath Management Zone, um, which they get the stiffer restrictions on on us. But that's a whole other story. We can talk about another day. <laughs> but the uh, the first alternative uh, Chinook would open May sixteenth and go all the way through August thirty first. Okay. Then a Mark Selective coho season, which means uh, hatchery coho, you could keep hatchery coho, would open June 15th and go to August 18th. So you have an overlap there. So you open early with Kang, fish for Kang, coho kicks in. You can keep a, co- a king or a hatchery coho. Coho closes, but you keep fishing for King salmon all the way to the end of August. 
That's a good alternative. That would be a good. That's for slamming salmon. Cake. Yeah, uh -huh, so right. I was thinking that when you said the updates, I'm going, yeah. Yeah. We got to July, we got our slamming salmon. There you so, go. Oh, it could yeah, easily buddy. happen. Yeah, that's like all that's all three of the alternatives. Yeah, way oh, better. Way better. Year, yeah. And all yeah. three include that. All of them end in sometime in August. So sweet. Uh, it's hopefully uh, it all comes to fruit fruition. Oh, that's Fingers great. Crossed. So oh. we're all excited about that. For that's sure. a good option. Yeah. But there is a lot of excitement. Spring fever is alive and well, especially on the Rogue River. Because they are catching spring salmon, uh, springers, they call them springers, spring mm -hmm. Chinook salmon, as we speak, 30 pounders, 40 pounders, some wow. beautiful, beautiful fish. And they are very yummy fish to eat, uh, oh, springers. Spring so, yeah, okay. uh, so that's happening. I hope to get up there soon and take part in that. Uh, in the ocean, we can, and when we can get out, uh, bottom fishing, of course, is still going on with your five rockfish and two lingcod. Uh, you can also uh, go. Um, perch surf perch fishing uh, along the along the beaches and so crabbing oh yeah and crabbing's also oh, open okay. yeah dungeon is crab so it's just a matter of when we can get out there for that everybody gets happy on that one too yeah uh-huh <laughs> for sure <laughs> all of them say oh yeah i mean that's it right as yeah. far as the chet go goes yeah uh, steelhead will close on the chet go the end of this month so march 31st that'll be over it's pretty much over now anyway the steelhead fishing oh okay so now we'll turn our attention to the Rogue river and the ocean that's the plan. That's the plan. Oh, no back, no backdoor fishing for you then for a while. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I'll just pretend. Is there a meeting coming up for this month? Uh, we just had a big meeting uh, just, last yeah. week. Uh, well, we had 64 people. It was a really good showing. So yeah. April will be the next April, one. yeah. Third third Wednesday in April. So we'll, there you go. we'll have time to talk about that. Yeah, we'll have you on them before that. Perfect. D deal. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right there, Mr. Oregon South Coast Fisherman himself, Dave Keene, our man. Now Thank you, Bruce. time to go take Mary Lou dancing. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, off the line dance we go. Yeah, the line I think dance my daughter's going to come with us this time. She's Aww. visiting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so great. to hang out with us. Family affair, right? You bet. Aww, you have fun. Thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks Kat. Kat. Thanks, Always Bruce. glad to have you on board. Mm -hmm. All right. Always a pleasure to have him on board. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Just a treasure. So so nice to chat with. <laughs> uh, he's a great guy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, indeed. Well, this town's full of great people, so there we go. We lucked out. Hey, let's get on with the music schedule so we can tell these great people where the heck they can go have some fun at. All yeah. right. Starting at the Elk Valley Casino. In their Betty Green Event Center on the 29th, they're going to have Bad Moon Rising. That's a CCR tribute at 8 p.m. Then on the 30th, it's one of these nights, another tribute, this time to the Eagles at 8 p.m., and then over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, where all music starts at 7.30 p.m., on the 29th and 30th, they're going to host Steve Nelson. Yep, and then the Italian guys are playing one more time in this month, and it's on the 29th at the Coon Tai, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, and then Danielle Duran and Ohana are doing a Tuesday open mic at Oxenfree from 8 to 11 every week. And then on Thursdays, they have an open mic at Checo Brewing Co. from 5 to 8. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. And Lon Goddard, he's got a little bit of schedule here on the 29th. He'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Over at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, music starts from 6 to 8, and it's going to be Greg Russell on the 29th, and then Honest Labor on the 30th. Yep, and Cisco and Daltrey is playing on the 27th at the Check Co Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and then Cisco Solo on the 30th, Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then heading into the month of April for PA and T-Roy, they're going to be playing on the 5th at the Brookings Elks Lodge from 7 to 9 on April 12th, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. On the 18th of April, they'll be at Seaview Senior Living from 4.30 to 6 p.m. And then on the 19th of April, they'll be at Kuntai Music there running from 6 to 8. Yep, and then Cisco and Daltrey on the 18th. They'll be at the Grange in Harbor, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And on the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th, at Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market. Nice catch, too. He's mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Mike Powell playing on the 12th and 13th of April at Elk Valley Casino. Music running from 6.30 to 9.30. And then on the 19th, he'll be at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. Yes, indeed. And Bloodline Band on the 27th, they'll be at the Oxen Free, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then the Italian guys are playing on the 11th, 12th, and 18th of April at Kuntai from 6 to 8. Yeah, and then the Italian guys, they will be playing on the 11th, 12th, and 18th at Kuntai, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then finally for Long Goddard, some April dates here on the 3rd and 17th. He'll be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. Then on the 13th, he'll be at the Second Saturday Art Walk at the Democratic Headquarters from 3 to 6. Then on the 26th and 27th, He'll be playing at the Elk Valley Casino from 7 to 10. 
I don't know if it was just me or what, but it feels like uh, March just like marched right on through. Well, all of a sudden, right. you know, we're saying this and this way. I'm looking at this going, man, I got April dates already now. And it's I like, know. you know, one week left in March. March was insane for me. So I'm kind of ready to be done with it. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's frank, cool. So I'm Very cool chaotic, with like heading yeah. into the next month here. I don't know about you, man. <laughs> I'm cool with it. All right. Well, rounding out the month of March, there is going to be an Oregon Women in Business meeting at the Rice Bowl. This is going to be on the 27th of March at 5 p.m. March is an evening of connection and resources for women in business. You're invited to join the friendly group out in the community in these activities. You can share small business success stories. You can have roundtable discussions with all attendees. And then there will be a Google review session for local small businesses. How fun, how fun. Doors open at 5. The meeting starts at 5.30. Refreshments are provided. However, menu items and beverages will be available for purchase. There's no RSVP necessary. They invite you to grab a friend and come out to an informative and fun evening with other women in business. Mm -hmm. There you go. At Elk Valley Casino. 2021 Elk Ranch Road in Crescent City is presenting Bad Moon Rising, a tribute to Creedence Clearwater Revival. This is happening on the 29th, 8 p.m. From the 1969 Woodstock Festival, sounds like I was at Woodstock right there with that word, to their acrimonious disbandment in 1972, this tribute band takes you on a ride through CCR's iconic hits. Tickets are on sale now at etix.com. Doors open at 7 and the show starts at 8. And you got to be 21 or older to attend. All right. And of course, it's Easter weekend coming up in the Family Resource Center of the Redwoods, located at 494 Pacific Avenue in Crescent City, is presenting the FRC Easter Egg Stravaganza. This is happening on the 29th of March, going from noon to 3 p.m., and the public is invited for their annual Easter egg extravaganza. The Easter Bunny will be there with a free egg hunt, free crafts, free popcorn, and so much more. And they'll also be fundraising with JC's Arctic Blast and selling snow cones for $2. For information about this event, you can call 707-464-0955. The extravagant. <laughs> I love, I love the, the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from Mr. Rogers himself. Fred Rogers, born March 20th, 1928. Says anyone who does anything to help a child in his life is a hero. I could do a little Richard Rogers here. <laughs> Discovering the truth about ourselves is a lifetime's work, but it's worth the effort. The greatest gift you ever give is your honest self. And last but not least, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <coughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Fred Rogers, born March 20th, 1928. Till next week, have a great one. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Oh, very girls. sweet. That's a sweet way to end out the month. I love that. Look, here's Mr. Postman with my package <laughs> from Columbia. Oh, oh hey there. <laughs> <laughs> Old Saturday Night Live. Goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, all righty. The Pistol River Concert Association is presenting The Muddy Souls. This is happening at the Pistol River Friendship Club. That's at 24252 Carpenterville Frontage Road in Pistol River. This is happening on the 30th of March at 730 the Muddy Souls are a progressive jam grass band based in Eugene, Oregon, featuring original songs, improvisation, tight vocal harmonies, and a high octane groove that always has the dance floor bouncing. Formed in 2018, the band has four albums of completely original music. They've played more than 150 shows across the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and the Northeast, including festival sets at Freshgrass, Bridge City Bluegrass, Oregon Country Fair, and Wintergrass. Tickets are $20. You can get them in person at Wright's Custom Framing in Brookings and at First Chapter Coffee House in Gold Beach. Yeah, they got one of them names where you're like, uh, how did they create that name? You know, you want oh, to know the backstory mm -hmm. on the Muddy Soul. I love it. It's very oh, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you get into like bluegrass and like, you know, like the kind of like Muddy River kind uh, of. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. But there's got to be a story there I somewhere. Know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I dig yep. it. I dig it. And hey, it is time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that Isaac Newton did figure out gravity by an apple falling from a tree? It's true. Here's the story. Well, we've all heard a version of the story of how Isaac Newton discovered gravity. It usually goes something like Isaac Newton discovered gravity while sitting under an apple tree and an apple fell on his head. It definitely sounds made up, like the George Washington chopping down the cherry tree story which is definitely a myth. Yet, according to Newton and his biographers, 
That is pretty much how it happened. In 1665, Newton was studying at Cambridge University when an outbreak of bubonic plague forced him to quarantine at his parents' farm. Well, there, Newton observed an apple falling to the ground and began to wonder why objects always fall downward and not in another direction. The apple probably didn't fall on his head, though. Historians are often even confident that they've identified the specific tree Newton observed, a flower of Kent apple tree at Wolfsthorp Manor. The tree was likely planted in 1650 and partially collapsed in a storm in 1816, but the tree recovered and pieces of it have been used to grow more Newton trees. The original tree still stands today and its descendants can be found on six continents. Now, I wonder why they didn't create an apple Newton instead of a fig Newton. Hope you enjoyed this week's bit of history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Alrighty, it's always fun when it's like it's not necessarily, it's, it's almost less weird than you think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It actually makes total sense. Although yeah. you think about it, you go, okay, this is the first time that they're like figuring out even thinking of like, why did that fall like that? You know, I, just, I mean, you know, I just it, imagine like, um, especially if he's in college, you know, kicking back, just going like, man, yeah. you ever wonder why objects fall down and pot up? <laughs> <laughs> no, just the college out. kids, they never, uh, they never changed. <laughs> yeah, so good, yeah. so good. And all all right, sense. brilliant. Hey. You're a genius. All right. You're a genius. All right, let's take a look at some April events happening at the Checo Library in Brookings. So first off, they have their weekly events. Happening every Monday at 5.30 p.m., they have Pilates in Espanol with Amanda. This is a Pilates class for Spanish speakers. Then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got Story Time that features stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. At 1.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, they have a free chair yoga class. And then at 4 p.m. on Tuesdays, they have a free tobacco cessation workshop led by All Care. This weekly workshop is going to start in April and run through the 14th of May. And then on Thursdays at 2.45, they have another free chair yoga class. On Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento, which is Spanish story time. Stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in the Spanish language. And then for upcoming special events in April, all month long, you can enter their poetry book crafting competition. Starting April 1st, you can stop by the library's makerspace and use the kits and crafting supplies at hand to create a simple folded book of poetry. You can take your book home to enjoy, or you can enter it in the competition for the best handcrafted poetry book. You're also welcome to take your kit home to work on it there and bring it back to enter the contest. All entries, however, must be received by April 29th at 7 p.m. And then a panel of judges will pick the winners in the following categories on the 30th. They have a category for Best Artistry, Best Poetry, Best Youth Book for submissions from youth under 18, Best Adult Book for all folks 18+, plus. And then, of course, a best in show. And winners in each category will receive a ribbon and a magnetic poetry kit. All entered poetry books will be on display at the library through the end of May. And then on April 4th at 4.30 p.m., they're going to be having an after-school crafting workshop. Middle grade kids and teens are invited to a free workshop. And at this monthly workshop, they're going to make a three-dimensional mythical beast. And if you have any questions about programs and services offered at the library, you can always visit them at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. You can check out their events calendar at checkolibrary.org, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. So as we mentioned earlier this month, their lead actor, <clears throat> Jason, broke his arm, <laughs> and they had, to, <laughs> they had to push back their performance dates by a week, but they did open last week, and they are currently running. They're going to be running through the... 7th of April now. So they have Friday and Saturday performances at 7.30. They have Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. However, they are taking Easter Sunday off, so be aware of that. And this is happening at the Rogue Playhouse, home of the Ellensburg Theater Company, at 94196 Moore Street in Gold Beach. And again, they're presenting the comedy and drama Tombstone, Get Ready for a Western, And it features Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, uh, all the Earp brothers, and it centers around the OK Corral shootout in Tombstone, Arizona in the 1880s. It says the Clantons and McLowrys are no big fans of Wyatt for reasons you'll discover. Once Doc Holliday shows up, pursued closely by Big Nose Kate, things begin to escalate. 
And this script's a little different from the movie. It also tells the story in part from the perspective of the women in their lives. And if you have any questions or want to get tickets, you can get tickets at Jerry's Rogue Jets in Gold Beach. You can also, yeah, just show up. The the doors open 45 minutes before the starter showtime. So tombstone. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and you know, he's Wyatt Earp, right? And yes, my <laughs> husband, Jason Liddell, is, of course, playing Wyatt Earp. And some other extremely talented folks are joining him on the stage, like Michael Smith playing Doc Holliday. And uh, yeah, it's just good, 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 good yeah, cast all yeah. around. Uh-oh. Yeah, if you like a Western... You might want to check out Tombstone. Oh, <laughs> Just a, well, and thank goodness they're able to progress it out, you know, mm-hmm. from the one weekend. And yes, there. an extra weekend tacked yeah. on there. We just got a one-armed Wyatt. There you go. Mm-hmm. Right on. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jeff the Jeweler at 15957 Highway 101 on Harbor is presenting an estate jewelry event featuring the Madison Estate Collection. This is happening on the 5th and 6th of April, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Madison Estate Collection, select from a collection of jewelry including Georgian, Victorian, Edwardian, Art Deco, Retro, and Cocktail Periods, plus contemporary treasures, exotic, and sign pieces. So there you go. All right. If you're an aficionado, you know exactly what I said right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Uh-uh. <laughs> but, hey, moving on to the event center on the beach in Gold Beach, they're presenting a spring bazaar. This is happening on the 5th and 6th of April, and the public is invited to join them at their annual spring bazaar. You can come visit vendors and find something special. And for more information, you can go to eventcenteronthebeach.com slash spring dash bazaar. Yes, it is. How bizarre. How bizarre. Hey, the Curry County Chamber of Commerce Chamber Mixer will be at Abella Spa and Tanning at 97900 Shopping Center Avenue in Harbor on the 6th of April, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Embark on a guided tour of our spa haven and immerse yourself in luxury. Plus, seize the opportunity to win a $50 gift certificate to enhance your wellness journey. Elevate your networking experience by mingling with fellow business owners amidst our serene ambiance. Forge valuable connections while exploring the -the state-of-the-art amenities. Join them for an afternoon of blissful exploration and meaningful connections at Abella Tanning and Spa. Your path to tranquility and professional synergy awaits. There you go. That's a mouthful. Hey. And then SWAC is presenting Odd Creatures in Our Tide Pools. This is happening on the 11th of April, and it's running from noon to 1 p.m. Bill Gorham, a marine biologist who's lived and dived around the world from Alaska and Australia to Hawaii and the Virgin Islands, retired to Brookings with his wife Vicki in 2017. Bill's passion for the ocean started as a kid in Illinois. In this talk, he'll share stories and images from decades of diving, teaching, beachcombing, and tide pooling. Discover what you can find when you slow down and look closely at the things on the beach, whether they live in it or on it, traverse through it, or simply get washed up. Explore the weird animals and plants, both common and hidden, that find unique ways to make the intertidal home. Bill wants to motivate the audience to take care of the ocean and all its resources, whether from discarded trash, overfishing, marine heat waves, or acidification. And he'll provide some words of wisdom for safe beach combing or tide pooling by reminding you about slippery rocks, rogue waves, mean crabs, spiny fish, and other surprises. This is a free program sponsored by the Friends of Curry Campus and will be held in the community room of Southwestern's Curry Campus, which is located at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway off Highway 101 in Brookings. Bring a friend and a brown bag lunch. And for more information, you can contact Curry Campus at 541 813 one six six seven tide pools yes i mean they are fun oh yeah no i, I mean, love every time i, love I look at one it's always different than something else mm-hmm. in there you know mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you never know what you're going to see in a tide absolutely pool. Mm-hmm. very cool hey danaka is presenting unit suzu at the betty green center at oak valley casino on the 12th 7 p.m to 9 p.m experience the fusion of music dance and culture with unit suzu an event that will leave you breathless through taiko Japanese folk dance, song, and personal story performers guide the audience through a journey during this show. A thought-provoking and special evening. Tickets are 15 to 20, available at Tanaka Eventbrite. For more information, call 707-464-1336. All right, and then the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach is presenting a regular program called Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to noon. And again, this is at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, you can email memorycafe at cplib.net 
or you can call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry is staffed by qualified social service providers, library staff, and volunteers. And then we've got a pretty important PSA here for Meals on Wheels. They are still looking for volunteers. They're in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to people who can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a great opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community, be a friendly face, and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Whether you're interested in doing this for just a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. And if you would like to do that, you can contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. I can't stress enough the Meals on Wheels program provided by the Checo Activity Center. It's the only Meals on Wheels program that's available to the Brookings Harbor area. And it is such an important way for people to actually get nutrition needs needs met if they're homebound. So if you've got some time, I really advocate for signing up to drive for them. It's oh, yeah. a really good cause. It really, really is. An impromptu fashion, too, as a fundraiser for Meals on Wheels, Three Pennies teaming up with them to do a dinner theater night in June. We'll be getting more information oh, about sweet. that out soon as well. So, yeah, however you want to support the Meals on Wheels program, including and especially driving right now, please call Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yes, indeed. We got time for one more here. I'll go to KCIW Soapbox Series. That's right. KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a new show called the KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. Now, a few rules here, like no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record what you got to say. All right. Well, you know what? We downed it in. We made through another show here and everything. So uh, time to close out this week's show. Before we go, like and give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at KCIW.org. And while you're there, hey, check out the live streaming as well. Good stuff there. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey... And we'll, we'll see, see you out there. Bam. Bam. Good stuff. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.